In today's video, I'm going to be redoing this cabinet. I wish I had a picture of the way it looked. It does look pretty, but I can tell you when you look up close, it really wasn't that pretty. And I needed to do something with it because you know me, I need to check just about everything. Am I going to check this one? I don't know. Stick around. I want to get away, but I could use some company. If you're alone like me, we could go on a trip. Girl, I want to see the sun, dive into the deep ocean. Dance with you all night long, move as you swing your hips. Let's take a break from the stress and the hate. Feel the loving, feel the rhythm, singing oh na na, oh na na. I showed you I'm using the solvable uh, paint stripper and uh, varnish stripper. I was using the foam brush. Don't do that because it doesn't work. It started to melt the top. So we're not using that anymore. Well, I'm going to use a regular brush to apply and the rest of the project. Always read the instructions on the package and you always should do what's best for you. This is just the way I'm doing it and what works for me. I've seen some people on YouTube wear a mask for this. Uh, seen some people that don't. So you do you. I'm not going to use it, but you know what? That's just me. I, that's just a word of caution. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Well, I've applied that already. And as you can see, it's starting to... Um, peel the paint almost instantly what did I do it maybe I don't know 30 seconds ago maybe a minute and I can see a huge difference already so so far it is working I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer because I think they applied several coats of paint so let's see how this turns out okay guys I need your opinion for something I bought this cabinet. I really love the style of it. I was looking for a liquor cabinet and um, this is what I found. Now, I'm debating painting it. I don't know because it kind of, kind of goes with my coffee table here. Do I leave it? Do I not? I really wanted to paint it, but part of me is just saying, just leave it natural. Anyway, leave me a comment let me know if i should paint it or not what would your opinion be and um and then i'll let you know in the next video um i'm so conflicted with this piece i don't know why but i love it and i only paid 50 dollars for it on marketplace Let's get out. Can leave this just wanted to show you how it looks with the paint and I knew there was something special under here so I've sanded the top but I'm having a bit of a hard time here so we'll see what happens but guys look how beautiful this wood looks uh, once the paint is off I was going to paint this piece one color up here and the dark brown chestnut up there and down here was going to be a cream color you know i love the way it's turning out and i think if i just something on it to make it pop to make it very unique for the beauty uh, of it to come out i think i'll be okay with that when i work on a project i go with the flow and i do what my heart tells me and at the moment, my heart's telling me not to paint this piece. I don't know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Would you paint it or would you not? Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back. I tell you guys, this was a big project. Tons of paint, coat after coat, that had to be removed. And I really had to get um, my husband to help me because it was a lot. We started and <laughs> it was very challenging. It's coming out so far beautifully. I just can't wait. There's so a little bit of paint. 
like around here that we're going to take that out. We're going to add a little bit more of that pink stripper on these little areas. Clean it all up and then we'll go on to the next step. Someday, baby, don't you understand that we only... You know how I'm check obsessed? And since I'm not going to be painting the bottom part of this cabinet, I am going to be painting the top and I'm going to show you. But I love checks, so I am going to incorporate a different type of checks. I'm using this as the spacer here. And I put it just very close to the top. I just have to make sure that I cut this straight so that when it when you put it on here it goes perfectly and we're going to continue this all the way down and then we'll come back and i'll show you the next step i put it just below the rim here or just below this rim and i made sure because there's some dents in here so i made sure that it's all in there so that when i paint it it'll all be it won't come out Okay, and I've done all the way around, and now we're gonna start. Painting. For this project, I'm gonna be using a fusion mineral paint, and I'm gonna be using the color chocolate, and I'm going to be applying it with a, um, a foam brush, because I don't wanna leave any streaks. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights and I... So this is how it's looking so far, but as you can see, there's some bleeding through that I'm going to have to clean up. And this is something that I couldn't pre-paint with something else because the bottom part is not painted. I love it. It just goes to show you that if you like Chex or Mackenzie Childs, you can make something that doesn't have to be black and white incorporated into something that you already have. I, I really want to know. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. See, I tried to mix my own uh, cappuccino, which I did like it, but after I added the flowers, I felt that the checks need to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just, I did a light sand over it and I'm going to be using drop cloth from Dixie Belle. And I'm gonna go over these checks. Now don't be afraid to test it. You might not like it. So I've painted the checks here. I want to rough them up and give them that country look. I don't want perfect checks. Just a light sand to rough it up. Remember, I don't want perfect checks.
I wanted a rough because this is sort of um, French country, but I still wanted a little bit of flowers on it. But I did want to show you what this looks like up close. And this is exactly what I wanted to achieve, that rough, rough look. Didn't have to be absolutely perfect because I knew I was going to scuff them up. So that's how it looks. I love the way it came out. I get asked sometimes about that uh, magazine holder. I painted that in one of my videos. So if you want, I can link that. Let me know what you think of it. I've been waiting all my life.